Hi guys, this is Grace and welcome to another process video. Before I go on with my process video, I want to share with you what my initial plan was for this particular page. So this was a, a single page and it was based off of a sketch and um, also a couple of other challenges. The one challenge that I wanted to um, submit this for is to use scraps and the twist is that you have to create a background for or using your scraps and so this is what I created that was going to go in the center and another challenge that I wanted to um, include this with is um, a kind of technique type of challenge where we were to use um, you know stitching or texture paste or inking watercolor whatever kind of mixed media we wanted. Well, so I created my background using some pattern papers punched out with a punch shape. This one's from EK Success. And so I had pattern papers and then I wanted to add some texture to it. So I grabbed a stencil from Clear Scraps. It's a hard stencil. And then I combined modeling paste and some yellow acrylic paint and then did that. And so here's my background and it looks really busy. And the, the sketch called for a layer of pictures on the left side and then a banner on the right side and then I added another photo because I had four. So as you can see, it's super busy. And even though I matted my pictures with white cardstock, it's still, for me anyways, in my eyes, it was just super duper busy so I wanted to kind of show you how sometimes we wanted to play or we wanted to try out new things and then it just doesn't work in my case it just it's not pleasing to my eye and what I could have done is I could have added some vellum kind of like what I did here in my title I put a pattern paper and then a vellum just so that my title can stand out but I think if I put a vellum there then it will cover up all of the stenciling in the paste that I created. So I'm just gonna just scrap this idea. I'm not gonna throw this paper away because I'm sure um, there will be a time where I could, you know, an, an inspiration strikes me and then I could uh, reuse this and salvage this. So I'm just gonna put this away and then I'm gonna work on trying to create the layout where I could do still follow the sketch that I'm submitting this for as well as maybe I'll keep this so that will be my technique but I won't turn it in for that scraps challenge just because there was just too much going on for my page so watch me do this process video and I will speed it up okay so um, let's go on with this page I am cutting um, I think it's a 10 by 10 paper and I decided that that I mean, it is still colorful paper, but it's not as strong as the other one. And that's actually a basic gray um, pattern paper. And I'm adding that to the center of the layout. I like it because there is still color in there. And I needed some color because most of my, my photos are black and white. And it also had some yellows, which worked well with um, the existing yellow hearts that I created with the uh, texture paste and acrylic paint. So I'm just adding in some little bits and pieces here and there. Um, I did rummage through my die cut stash and felt like they will be the perfect little embellishments for this page. Um, so they are from multiple uh, manufacturers. A lot of them are from Ellie Studios. There were a few that were from Authentique. And um, I think the... The block for my journaling is from, I think, I think Jenny Bolin. Yeah, it's that old. So anyways, um, I love the Ellie Studios items that I pick that have the food theme. And it worked really well with this page. Um, of course, this page is just pictures of me and my family when we went to a Korean barbecue place. Um, his pictures are actually from 2012 and um, we went there for Christmas and of course we got treated by my parents to Korean barbecue. Um, I love to eat um, especially um, 
ethnic foods. It's really, for me, that is like my, my little way of traveling to other countries and, and kind of tasting the cultures of other people. So um, that is why I love, uh, I miss actually Southern California food. Anyways, I'm babbling. Let's go back to the layout. So I am just adhering this pattern paper. The ba the background pattern paper, that black one, is from my mind's eye. And you're probably wondering why it has circles in the center. Because I had used that the, pa the paper, I would cut out circles from it for a different page. And if I like the paper enough that I have a feeling that I can still use it, I actually cut the shapes in the center. So I could at least use the, the paper itself as a background and then just put something in the, in the center of it. And so here I am. Oh, I, I also added this dream cut out, cut out from it's a silver paper. I can't remember where I got it, but it's like a shiny silver paper, kind of a shiny cardstock. And the die cut that I used it is from El Echo Park. And I'm I also used the word blessing as part of my title, which is cut from the same wafer thin die set. And then I'm also adding a silver heart on the bottom. And that would be my visual triangle for this particular layout. And I'm just tucking in all of the other stuff. So that little, I think it's a two by two square that says we ate. I am going to be putting the specific foods that we had. So we had, of course, the traditional Korean barbecue and then all of the sides that go with it, like the kimchi and the, um, I don't know what half of those things are called. My kids love those really kind of transparent wonton wrappers that they have. I don't know what they're called, but we love them. And so here the page is pretty much done. Um, I think I am going to add a few maybe enamel dots or rhinestones and then um, I'm also going to handwrite my journaling, but I'm going to do that after the video has stopped recording. The reason why I want to do some more enamel dots was because I felt like I needed to bring more yellow into this page. And so this is my layout, guys. Thanks so much for watching, and I will catch you guys soon. Bye.